Hello, welcome to another tutorial by me, Kieran, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can hide files in images. Okay, this uh, process is called steganography, and to do this you need something called S Tools. Okay, it's easy to get and it's free. So all you do, you need to open up your internet browser. In your browser, go to Google, which is hotkeyed, like, like I said before. So if you need to know how how to do that, look at my Open DNS tutorial. In here, you need to search for S Tools, and on here, it is this top one. So you go to here and you just click download. Um, as you can see, yeah, it's free, and it works for these computers and XP, which is what I'm using. But XP isn't actually on there. But just trust me, it does work with it. Okay, so once you've got that and extracted the files, you will get just wait for the folder slot up. A folder that looks with some stuff like this in and. You just click this S Tools one here to start it, and something like this should pop up. Just minimise that for now because we don't need that. Okay, so just move this across a bit. Okay, right. This image down here is a GIF image. Um, all you need to do is drag which image you want, so you drag it over, right? Um, I'll just make it a little bigger. And then you need to drag in the file that you want to use. Okay, I have actually made a file, so I'll just make it now. Uh, if you just use Notepad, it makes it easier. Um, I'll just give it a name. Just, I'll just call it Tutorial, just because that's an, a random name. Okay, so we'll just type in a message. Um, Hi, I am. Dinners 2K7. This is steganography. I think I spelled it right. Yeah, I think that's how you spell it. Okay, so I'll just save that. And you take the file that you want to put into it and drag that onto the image as well. This little box should pop up. And it says it's going to hide 112 bytes and if you look down in this bottom corner here it can hold up to 3092 so that's that you just need to insert a passphrase mine can just be hello just because it's simple and this encryption thing you can use any but I'm just going to stick with idea so once you've done that click OK um, I just use attempt color reduction because this one obviously has no color on it so we click OK at that, and this is the one with the hidden file in, the one that pops up. And you need to right click that and go to Save As. I'll just, oh, I didn't want to do that. Right. I'll just take it to my desktop and call it um, Read Me because it's just random again. Um, and you want to save it as .gif, um, otherwise, it didn't work too well. So make sure you save it as whatever it was before. So you click save, and it's down here. Just close them. Okay, and if you take your file, I don't uh, just move this across so you can see what I'm doing. Obviously, it, it here it is just an image. Okay, so say you did this and you send it, sent it to a friend and you told them what the password was and how to read it. Okay, so you've sent it, and I'm now that friend. What the, what what your friend would need to do is take the S tools thing, take the image with the hidden files in, drag it over and copy. And once it's on here, you need to right click and go to reveal. In here, uh, you need to type in the password, which was hello. Help if I could spell. Okay, Oops. Oh, I spelled the first one wrong again. Okay, and you need to have the encryption thing on the same one. Click OK, and it reveals what was in it. Now, obviously, you can't actually read what's in it at the moment, so to do this, you have to right-click it, go to Save As, save it onto the desktop as Read Me File. So we need to read it. 
and sh save it as .txt so you know it opens with notepad. Save it and you can now close this and here it is. There's the secret message. Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial about steganography.